Hey guys, I'm Ines Wang and today I'd like to share with you a time-lapse video along with commentary on how I painted this white-handed gibbon. So this is another collection to be added to my Malaysian beauties. It's a project that I've been doing to paint animals that can be found in my local country in hopes to raise awareness. So if you'd like to learn more, it would really mean a lot because it this whole project is just, I want to do something with what I love and I really hope that it can make a change for the future. Anyway, back to the whole painting. So this is done with acrylics on a 20 by 30 inch canvas. Hope you guys enjoy! I started by painting the background black. Usually it is a lot easier to use a big paintbrush but this is the biggest I have so just need to do a little extra work on my part. After that, I use an airbrush to give that nice soft light coming through. And then I use a paintbrush to splatter all the white paint on it to make it look like dust particles in the air. I later uh, refine it with black paint using an airbrush. I thought to do a glaze, a yellow glaze, by putting white paint on it and using a spray bottle to thin the paint down, but it didn't really work. I ended up using a airbrush to do it, so uh, unfortunately I didn't record that, sorry. And now I'm painting the log. Um, the log, I uh, mixed paint black, white, and a touch of brown, and I'm just blocking in the colors. Um, uh, for the fur, I mix red, brown, and black. This is a very dark uh, reddish brown. And then I use dark gray for the white parts. So these are like the dark shades first. Because uh, my camera made it look a little bit brighter, but it's pretty dark colors. So uh, then the face is going to be extra dark gray. The first part is usually dark color, and then you slowly add lighter layers on top to make it look more three-dimensional. Now I'm adding the shadow cast by the gibbon. And I'm also slowly painting the streaks of the log. This is quite honestly my first time painting a log so I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't too confident on this so I took fairly and a uh, fairly quite long uh, just painting the log because there was just um, a lot of uncertainty on my part. Using Golden Artist Colors, I really like it because uh, it blends pretty well. I used uh, student grade paint and it did not blend as nice as it did Golden Artist Colors. So I really enjoyed using that. Now I'm just blocking in all the veins of the tree the cracks and creases. For texture effect, I dab using a old paintbrush just to give it unevenness.
I'm using a filbert brush to do the fur. Quite honestly, filbert brush is my favorite brush to do fur because it really gives that natural fur effect. I painted black on the parts where uh, there's shadow because with um, a one source of light, I want it to be quite dramatic so the shadows are going to be pure black. So I'm adding in all the shadows, although I say that, uh, although I say start with dark colors, but because my background is totally black, if I were to paint the gibbon black, it's gonna confuse me, so I painted dark reddish brown first, add in the black shadows, and then I slowly proceed to the midtones and highlights. All the shadow is casted by the Gibbon's head. It's also uh, rewarding to pay close attention to the direction of the fur because this adds a lot of realism into it. Because if you do not focus on how the direction of the fur goes, you're it, the viewer can tell whether it's fake or real. So if you have a reference photo, pay close attention to the direction of the fur because this really adds to the illusion. So now I'm adding the midtones and highlights. And I'm focusing on where the light is coming from, so uh, if you can see the places like around the head and shoulders, it's going to be a lot brighter as compared to the parts of the body that is away from the light source. I also wanted to do some backlighting because I love backlighting, I just love the drama of it. So I made it really white, I used pure white for the edges of the fur and then I glaze it with yellow. Same thing for the white parts of the Gibbons fur. It, it started with dark grey followed by midtones of uh, grey and for the highlights it's going to be a little bit of white. So now I'm adding the midtones. Paying attention to the fur. It's really uh, weird to look at apes' hands because their thumb placement is so different from a human's. <laughs> it's quite interesting, especially Gibbons because they have um, really their thumb from the, uh, the placement of their thumb is really far from their fingers so they can grab at branches really well. For the face, I use the filbert brush and um, like a little bit, small brush to paint the face and later I used my fingers to dab on it to add texture. I'm also doing the details on the fur of the face, around the face. Now I'm adding the highlights. I just dab the uh, paintbrush on the face. Adding the highlights for the hands as well. I'm using white but not pure pure white because I don't want it to be too bright. It's a bit on the lighter side. For the eyes, I block in the solid color and add a little bit dark on top and lighter at the bottom and adding in the highlights.
Thank you for watching and I hope you found that entertaining. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And it would mean a lot if you like the video and share it as well. And if you'd like to keep up to date with my photos and paintings, you can follow me on the following sites listed down below in the video description. They are Facebook, Boxport, Google Plus, and DeviantArt. That's all for today. Stay cool. See you guys in the next video.